So I know we've shown you guys a lot of the mountain ranges here, but I just wanted to show you where we're at. So anytime you come into Wasilla, you are greeted. There's beautiful mountains all the way, almost all the way around you. Okay, so Eric and I just got back from Fred Meyer's. We broke down and bought some produce. <laughs> we were getting a little sick and tired of all our canned food. Um, so we wanted to just show you guys what we got, cost of it. So all of this costs $24 and it is organic besides the parsley. So some of the cost is because we went organic. Um, I think you would have saved a little bit if you didn't. So I just want to show you what we got. We got parsley, fennel, cabbage, kale, got some golden beets, a sweet potato I believe, and some Swiss chard. So we're happy with what we got for the cost we paid. And again, we don't think it's quite comparable to food that is locally grown, um, but being that we are in Alaska, there are not farmers markets year round. They don't grow food year round here. So again, we're just happy with what we got. We thought it was a good deal. Let us know what you think and if we paid too much. So we've had our solar system up and running for a little over a month now, and we thought we'd kind of go over how it's working out for us. Okay, so one thing we decided we wanted to do was add a little bit more storage to our battery bank. So we first started out with just these two, and we added two more, and then we insulated our box, and these have been doing great. It's been down to zero degrees, and we've had no issues with it so far. Okay, so we've had no problem keeping these batteries um, at least above 70%. And for days that we don't have sun, we did pick up a used generator for a good deal. And this is a 2000 watt. And this thing will run eight hours um, with just one gallon of gas. So it's really fuel efficient. And it keeps us charged up when we don't have any sun on the panels. Okay, so when we do need to run the generator onto the house, um, we just have our cord right here. And that plugs in and that goes into our inverter and charges up our batteries. So as you can see, we're not getting much sun today. It's pretty cloudy. Um, let's head inside and see how much solar we're actually pulling in. So this is our setup. I don't know if we've mentioned this before, but this is a 2000 watt inverter. It's made by Xantrex. And this is our uh, midnight kid charge controller. And let's go in and let's see if we're actually bringing in any solar right now. Okay, so I don't know if you can see on this screen, it's kind of hard to tell, but it says we're bringing in zero watts of solar. So it's really cloudy out there and it's not letting any sun through. Um, we are sitting at about 12.4 volts of power on our batteries. Um, and one thing we've kind of learned using this system is once you put a load on um, our batteries, and what that means is like once you plug something into the wall, whether it's something powerful like a vacuum or something small like a cell phone, it's going to drop your voltage. So it'll say, um, let's for example, 12.3 volts on here. But if you unplug everything and actually let your battery sit and they'll level out to what they're actually at, they're probably going to be about 12.5, 12.6. So I'll turn our inverter on. And we're at 12.4, but that's with a load on it. So our batteries are full right now, which full is about 12.6 to 12.7 volts. The opposite when it's charging, when we're either bringing in a lot of sun on our panels or we have our generator on, it's going to read higher than 12.6. It's going to read all the way up. I think ours has read all the way up to 14.2 volts. And then it'll settle down once you take the charge off to that full mark, which is about 12.7 volts. So if we have um, a few days without any sun, this system with our batteries and everything that we use electricity for will last us about three days. So I'm going to give you guys an idea of how much power we use. Um, we charge our phones every day. We charge our drone um, probably every two days, and then we charge our laptop every day. And then this is also a Yeti Goal Zero, and it's basically a battery, and then you can plug in our laptop and our phones, stuff like that. We actually haven't been using this that much anymore. Okay, and so we don't use a lot of lights in the house, but when we do use lights, it's always this kitchen one. Lights up the kitchen and the living room area. And then if you come in here, um, this is one of the main things that uses power, and this is our pump for our water system. So a way we kind of maximize um, the solar we're bringing in 
is if we have a sunny day, those solar panels are gonna charge those batteries in just a few hours. So the rest of that day, that energy is kind of just being wasted. So what we'll do is we'll plug in everything we have that needs to be charged. That way that extra energy goes into charging, you know, our laptops and our batteries. So another habit we kind of picked up is when we're not using a lamp, just turning it off like that, but still having it plugged in is gonna bring, it's gonna draw a little bit of energy. So we just unplug our stuff when we're done using it. So when this verter's on, you can say it's got a screen um, that's lit up. So this obviously draws energy. So when we go to bed at night, we try to get in the habit of just cutting off all power. That way we're not using any power while we're sleeping. So one thing to consider is if you have an appliance like a refrigerator that's always running, you're gonna be pulling more energy. We don't have a refrigerator right now, um, but the way the system is for us, it's been great and we're happy and we know we're gonna make it through the winter.